I'm here with Giants linebacker O'Shane Zimenez. O'Shane, first of all, the Giants defense this year is really keeping this team in games. What would you attribute that to? Uh, I'll I just uh, attribute that to like the one play mentality that Wink has implemented. Uh, it's basically meaning no matter what happens, we just go out there and play ball. You know, if they bust a big play, you know what I'm saying? We get them down, we just play the next play and just keep fighting. Yeah. And I mean, for you personally, it seems like this new coaching staff has unlocked a new level. Do you feel that? Yeah, definitely, man. You know, I've just been trying to do what, you know, what I'm coached to do. And I feel like I've been having a little success. So we're just trying to keep that going. What feels different about this year than the last few? Uh, I say like the energy, man. You know, I feel like uh, we got a lot of selfless guys in the room, and you know, what I'm saying guys putting their pride aside the and just doing what's best for the team. Right, and I think you know, going into this season, there weren't a lot of expectations about this Giants team, right? And and I think even with the success this team has had, they're still kind of widely considered underdogs. Do you guys take pride in playing from that position? Uh, I definitely say so. You know, saying we had a little chip on our shoulder going into camp. You know, nobody expected us to do anything, and. You know, we just bust our tails every single day, and I was paying off. Yeah. Now this week, going out to Jacksonville, first of all, facing a quarterback in Trevor Lawrence, who Coach Dable knows pretty well. He said earlier he recruited him back in college and ended up getting him to Alabama. But what are your early impressions of, of going up against that guy? Oh, uh, you know, he's a he's a great quarterback. You know, he makes a lot of good throws, and you know, they have a real dynamic offense. So we gotta, you know, take these days in practice very seriously, and you know, go down there ready to play. You've had a sack already this season on Aaron Rodgers, a guy that's not too easy to take down. Uh, what's the key to getting to the quarterback again this week? Uh, you know, just getting off that ball, being relentless, you know, trying to just keep him in that pocket, and we all going to rush as a team and get there. Absolutely. Now, there's a little bit more familiarity between these teams. Evan Ingram, of course, who you and I were talking about, he's been, he had been here your entire career before going out to Jacksonville this year. What's it going to be like playing against a guy you know that well? Yeah, you know, Evan, he's a good friend of, you know, basically everybody on the team. You know, we love E, and, you know, saying it's going to be competitive, you know, because he's a competitive guy, and, you know, we're going to bring our best, and I'm sure he's going to bring his best. The way that this Giants team has come together and had such success early, how would you describe the energy in the locker room? I mean, I feel like, you know, even post game last week, we just see how excited and, and juiced up everyone is. Yeah, we uh we definitely coming closer together as a team, you know what I'm saying? Like we all brothers in that locker room and you know, winning bring people together. So you know, I feel like we all getting tighter and tighter and we just trying to keep our heads down and keep working. Coach Stable seems kind of adamant on emphasizing that hey, any given week this could all end, right? And and how does that how does he keep you guys focused or, or what's the message from this coaching staff to say like hey, this success is not promised. Yeah, he kind of just preached, like, we can't do nothing about the past and we can't do nothing about the future. We just got to focus and be in the present moment and just kind of just focus on Jacksonville. Staying present, looking ahead, week seven at Jacksonville. Shane, thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah, no problem, Madeline.